The latest now on that 12-year-old boy who was shot and killed by police in Cleveland, Ohio, because he was waving around a fake gun. This morning, Cleveland police are releasing video of the incident and defending the actions of their officers. ABC's Brandy Hit reports. This newly released surveillance video shows the final moments of 12-year-old Tamir Rice's life. You can see the child pointing a toy gun at this Cleveland Park Saturday when he shot and killed by 26-year-old officer Timothy Lohman just 10 feet away. We've got two officers that were out there protecting the public that uh, had to do something that nobody wants to do. This is the toy gun, its orange safety indicator removed. Officers say they ordered Tamir to show his hands three times and drop the weapon when he appeared to reach for the gun and was shot twice. Oh my God. But dispatchers never told the officers that the initial 911 caller believed the weapon was not real. It's probably fake, but you know what? It's scary. Tamir's family asked that this video be released, saying they believe the situation could have been avoided, as hundreds protesting his shooting now join nationwide demonstrations over the Michael Brown shooting in Ferguson, Missouri. The two Cleveland officers involved are now on administrative leave pending an investigation. Officer Lohman was just appointed to the force in March. His partner that day, a certified field training officer. Brandy Hitt, ABC News, Los Angeles.